Booper, bringing you the latest support team update. I'm Michelle Court, I'm the lead sports dietitian for Cricket Australia. I work with all of the Cricket Australia programs, uh, starting with the Australian men's team, Australian women's team, through to the under-19 programs uh, within Cricket Australia. And I look after all of the nutrition-related uh, issues and systems that are involved with each of the programs. It varies from player to player and that's something that we've tried to introduce quite, uh, quite a lot over the last few years is that each player has an individual dietary plan or nutrition plan. So I guess the base of most cricketers eating plan when they're in a heavy training schedule is to consume plenty of carbohydrate um, at, as the base of their meals to give them energy, fuel for their muscles. So at breakfast, breakfast cereal or toast, fruit, lunchtime, uh, sandwiches, maybe some pasta, again some fruit, and at night time a small amount of pasta, rice or, or potatoes. What's equally important though for all of our cricketers, no matter what their role in the team, is quality protein. And it's really important that they're getting uh, good quality protein, lean fish, meats, eggs, dairy products, again at each main meal, because that's really crucial for man maintaining their strength and also uh, improving muscle repair and, and recovery. They have a, a wide variety of foods available to them and it will actually vary depending upon their workload in the match. Um, if a batsman has uh, unfortunately not scored many runs, his energy expenditure hasn't been huge. So therefore he doesn't need a meal that's really, really high in carbohydrate. He can focus more on protein foods and some vegetables and salads. So if that was the case, something like a piece of grilled fish with some veggies or salad and maybe some fruit and yogurt afterwards. Whereas if we had a fast bowler who's undertaken a really heavy uh, workload in a match or in between innings, what he would have is something higher in carbohydrates. So maybe a pasta meal, rice meal, or a sandwich, again with some lean protein. Some of the, the players actually don't feel like eating solid food uh, in between innings, in a lunch break or a, a tea innings, simply because, particularly the fast bowlers, the intensity of their exercise is so high, they can't tolerate solid food if they know they have to go out and play again. So they may actually choose to have uh, a protein shake or a smoothie, um, even some, some Gatorade just to top up their glycogen levels and they tolerate that really well and are able to go out and perform again. I don't think uh, many of them at the moment have too many strange or, or favourite foods. I guess one um, fast bowler really likes fruit toast with uh, Vegemite, which I think is a little a bit of a strange combination. But no one else has any real superstitions. So I guess some of them will always go for like spaghetti bolognese, perhaps the night before a match. It's just a good, simple food. Uh, it's not going to upset their stomach, but again, will fuel their muscle and provide them with some, some protein. Um, as everybody's been interested this, this summer with Peter Siddle's uh, recent dietary change and I guess his is the most unusual uh, within the cricket setup at the moment in that it's turned vegetarian. However, his eating plan's really um, well balanced. It's getting all the protein he needs and uh, for his performance and recovery and his carbohydrate intake. So I guess uh, nothing too strange at the moment, but uh, yeah, certain players always have the, their favourite foods that they like to eat at different times. Yeah, it it's, uh, can be tricky. I guess we're lucky within the Australian team setup that we can call upon um, the different caterers at, at various venues to provide a wide variety of foods. So it's more my job more entails um, educating the players as to what they should be eating from that wide variety or, or selection. So at the different match venues, there'll always be hot selections, uh, whether that be fish, meat, chicken, pasta, rice, as well as vegetables. And there'll also will, will be a make your own sandwich bar with fresh fruit available and yogurt. So I guess my role is to really 
uh, educate each of the players to know what choices they should be making based on their workload every day to make sure that they're adequately fuelled without overeating and also that they're obtaining the, the right nutrients for recovery. But I'll uh, send through guidelines to each of the match venues, whether we're playing in Australia or overseas, so that the caterers know what to provide our players. So everything that they need is, is always on hand.